Nothing kills the vibe faster after you tune into the Olympics for one purpose and one purpose only. To watch the greatest game ever invented. Women's volleyball. You expect tall, attractive women jumping up and down and shooting the ball. But all hopes and all feelings all around the body just faded away after the opening ceremony was... Three men with colored eyebrows about to do shakalaka boom boom and they close the door after them and then pride flags go in the air and they're like, Ooh, what an opening to Olympics 2024. What the fuck? And then you're like, okay, that was it. That was a traumatizing moment. It killed the vibe, but I can recover and we can still watch the game. Nope. Boom. Olympics hit you with another opening ceremony where in this video, the guys' basketballs were literally out in front of millions of people, including kids. The second Olympics Paris 2024 has started, there has been nothing but drama and controversy. But we're not here to talk about anything, everything else. There's so much shit to go over, but I'm here to talk about the most important one, which I'm aware You've seen it for the past uh, two days on your social feeds, on Twitter especially, where this gentle ma'am has been going viral. Everyone's saying, oh, it is a man against a woman. It is not fair. Olympics is dead. Why are we doing this? Why are we allowing men to fight women? Transgender doesn't count. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the Olympics videos. I'll show you a few pictures here and there. Because the Olympic social media team is sitting like a kid in a carnival with a hammer at that game of anyone posts anything about me, even on Twitter, not even YouTube. They are going to shut up the shit out of and copyright it and remove the whole video. But anyways, this female boxer, Angela Carina it, from Italy and Iman Khalif from Algeria had a boxing match two days ago and a lot of controversy has come to the internet. 99% of them hating on Iman for being a man and just hating on the whole Olympics and everything about how stupid it is and how it shouldn't be allowed. Now, 100% against men, transgenders coming into a woman's sport, especially uh, the men who are identifying as a woman. I cut it off. I belong to you. How dare you say I don't have get periods? I will sue you. I'm all about that, especially when it comes to powerlifting between women, boxing, physical activities. Men are biologically stronger so it's not fair to the woman in the competitions like that and until a few hours ago i was gonna make a different video about it but i decided to dig deep and i found out that it is more complicated than you think the reason i called him a gentle ma'am because there is a rare condition called dsd what is dsd it is a very rare condition which has differences of sexual development and having a dsd is not the same as being a transgender why what is the difference between them dsd is something you're born with transgender is uh, something that you change your mind along the way in your life and you decide to change teams basically the algerian boxer was born female was registered female lived her life as a female boxed as a female has a female passport this is not a transgender case. I just I know you're not saying that, but uh, there has been some confusion that somehow it's a man fighting a woman. This is just not the case. It's scientifically, on that there is consensus. Scientifically, this is not a man fighting a woman, and I think we need to kind of get that. This woman has competed for a very, very long time in women's sport uh, against many uh, opponents. In fact, against Italian boxers in the last twice in the last couple of, uh, couple of years, I think. Now, until a few hours ago, I had no idea what DSD was. I didn't know even it existed, and I was absolutely shocked to find out. And there is a footage of exactly explaining it to you. I'll just give you a summary of it. It's basically an a octopusy that you're born with, but then through that octopusy, there is a cucumber coming out. I'm not even kidding. That's exactly how it is. If you want to see exactly how it looks like, go to this guy's page. Type this out, copy, paste it, and the video will come out. And around the one minute, two minute mark, your jaw is going to break through the floor and you're going to be educated about DSD. You wish you've never clicked on this video, but you're glad that you find out that DSD exists. It's very disturbing. Viewer aggression, digression advised. And honestly, after finding about DSD, the different sex development, I can confidently say they can identify as whatever they want. God didn't fully update them. They can choose whatever they want to be and I will accept it. Whatever pronouns they want to go for, I will accept it because you are a man? Shut up, I have cucumba. You're a woman? Shut up, I have a... Octopusy, which is inside a kukumba, which is only my... You get the point. And during the fight, Iman made this Italian boxer cry with 
two punches the four the fight lasted only 46 seconds and she said i have never been hit so hard in my life she started crying and indirectly said that you know he doesn't belong here even though it is a she he that honestly don't know I, uh, this is the point where I'm confused. I would just call her Iman. And then update with uh, Iman last year in 2023 between the International Boxing Association. She was disqualified for failing gender test because she tested positive for the XY uh, Google Chromes and were thus concluded from the World Championships. XY is a male chromosome. XY Google Chrome is for male and uh, double X is for female. That's biology and everyone knows it. People like Jake Paul took it to the internet talking to the Italian boxer for having an unfair fight against a man. Say, I would love to offer you a fight on the MVP undercard to show the world your talents on a fair platform, not against a man. Now, it's not Iman's fault that, you know, she's born uh, with a ding dong and has a big dick energy inside her even though she's a woman born a woman and in her passport it is a woman but god they just didn't fully update her and ended up with a mixture of which the testosterone is not a perfect test mm. many women can have testosterone which is in what would be called male levels um and and still be women and still compete as women so and if you believe the fight was unfair she also competed in 2020 olympics tokyo ah shh, sorry my cat was biting me she went against kylie harrington from ireland in the quarterfinals and she absolutely got demolished iman lost the fight to a double x google chrome and no one said anything about it but the second she wins against someone who shouldn't be a boxer in the first place this italian boxer the two punches absolutely destroyed her everyone is just losing their shit i can guarantee you even if she went against another woman she was going to have the same reaction and the same crying face after coming out of the situation the reason people lost their shit is because well she kind of looks like a dude well we have a lot of people looking like this but you know she is extra extra dude and i believe that's the reason why everyone started shitting on this person now the international boxing uh, association are not after 2019 they're not included with the olympics anymore so the international olympics what does C stand for? International Olympics Community, IOC. I don't know what it stands for, but that's what I'm guessing. They decided to let this go forward because even though she failed a gender test at International Boxing Association last year, they are not included in the Olympics and she is allowed to fight and go forward. This was never a transgender case and she is born a woman in the passport is a woman and people are just overreacting in this situation. Honestly, I agree with this uh, statement. She might have quite an advantage in her situation for having compound V inside her blood, you know, from the second she was born. But still, I believe it's a fair if she fought against in 2020 in the quarterfinals against a woman from Ireland and she absolutely got demolished. Then yes, I believe she's allowed to fight. Most probably during the quarterfinals and the finals, you're going to see that she's going to get her ass beat. Just like she got beaten up in uh, Tokyo 2020. All you got to do is put her with a skilled woman fighter against, you know, Iman as well. Then it will be an equal fight, I believe. And then we'll see the results coming up. Today, she has another fight with the Hungarian boxer, Luka Hemori as well. And Luka has been getting some backlash. This is what Luka posted on her Instagram. I feel so bad for Iman, to be honest. She fought all her life. She didn't choose this life. She just ended up with it. And, you know, she worked hard for it. She's uh, She won her fight and everyone's absolutely shitting on her. And 100% there are going to be people, even after knowing what SDD is, they're still going to be like, no, that's a man. That is a man. And uh, fuck you. And they, they see her on the street. They're going to absolutely shit on her and harass her and I hope, I wish the best for her. She definitely doesn't deserve all this backlash coming towards her because of something that she was born with. She didn't just decide to change it one day, okay? This is not a transgender case. She absolutely doesn't deserve this, but I guess this is not the first time that she's been going through this. She's been fighting for quite a while right now, but this is the biggest controversy that happened in her fighting career. I wish the best for her. I hope she can fight the hate in these things because it's, it's pretty hard when 99% of the internet are all against you. I hope the truth hits people like it did to me today. And yeah, I just thought it would be an interesting thing to talk about on today's drama with Kush. But yeah, anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy these yapping sessions. 
Take care of yourself. I will see you at the next one.